Hi guys, in this video we'll be looking at an introduction to government failure and then we'll be finishing off with a summary. Okay, so let's imagine that we are a government and that we are observing some kind of market failure and we would want to do something about this. Now governments are really the only large enough economic agent that can address market failure as they're the only agent which is sufficiently large enough to make some kind of impact or change the market. So, when a market is failing, our government may intervene in order to reduce or correct market failure. And sometimes that intervention may lead to other forms of resource misallocation. So we're assuming that the government may not do the right thing. And when this happens, government failure occurs and government failure is defined as when the government intervention reduces economic welfare, leading to an allocation of resources that is worse than the free market outcome. So the conclusion that we can make about government failure, and similar to our market failure analysis where we saw a deadweight loss, government failure is going to lead to a net welfare loss to society and can create more problems than existed before. So government failure is when they end up increasing the amount of net welfare loss as a result of their intervention when they are trying to correct market failure. There are four main types of government failure that we are going to consider, and they are distortion of price signals, unintended consequences, excessive administration costs, and information gaps. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you're looking for an amazing A-level economics resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make A-level economics a walk in the park.